Jugo, 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 you are coming at the right time here, actually. We are closing in on the flagship fight. At the end of our stream, I will, I will, I will go there. I will go there. Don't worry, no cross, uh, no cliffhangers here today. Three levels of shields. Yep, well, that's great. Okay, another hacking is coming in. This time we shot it down and it went straight for our cloaking. Wow, the defense one is doing work here, guys. This is fantastic. Oh, they have a shield drone. <gasps> they have a shield drone. I cannot mind control someone. Okay, let's mind control that right now. As long as we can. Whoa, that was the really the last moment. The absolute last moment we could do that. And then let's destroy their, their drones. Oh, well, we brought down their shield drones. That's something. So do we wait for that to shoot? Oh, they have a combat 2 drone as well. Oh, that complicates things. Uh, what about their hacking? Did it stop? I think their, their hacking uh, did stop. I have to uh, look for that. Alright, so let's do this. And this. And then we dodge under the incoming. Yeah, the hacking stopped. Okay, so we actually don't need the defense one out anymore. Cool. That means we have now energy for the combat two. So I thought. Where's that one extra energy? Where did it go? Oh, it went here. Huh. Well, it's fine. Combat two then. Okay, my volley is ready. Okay, now they want to get away. Let's see if they get away with this. Take over the enemy pilots, FTL is delayed, and my last volley. This shall be my last volley, I'm pretty sure. There comes an offer. It's too late. Too little too late, guys. Too little too late. Okay, 41 scraps, one drone part, and two fuel. Okay, let's put some energy into oxygen, get that back up. You go back to shields. Okay. Sorry, sir, it's nothing personal. We have to go now. Uh, I have to go. <laughs> Shield is about to break apart. I have to go. Alright, so... I think we need to invest into level 2 uh, sensors. I cannot uh, pull... Theo out of shields all the time, just to have vision on the enemy pilot. I need vision. So there you go. We have level 2 sensors now. Feels a bit, a little bit like a waste. And we are uh, running this very close to... You know, um, to the edge of being um, damaged and then not working anymore. All the systems I... You know, they could use value points is what I'm saying. A value point in cloaking is what I want next. What does that cost me? Oh, I can actually buy that right now. Nice. Well, a value point in weapons would be nice, but that's way too expensive. Then maybe the drones. Value points in drones. Actually, level 6 drones would be awesome. We will see. Let's get to that. Look at the uh, red uh, star systems around us. Oh, what do we have? We find a small space station that appears to be abandoned. Move in to examine the station! As you approach, it becomes clear that the station is simply an empty shell. It has been stripped of useful materials long ago. Ah, okay. So we are going to meet the flagship! Just as we predicted. Let's do it. Okay, let's first have a last look here. Guys, it's happening! What do you guys say? Do you think I can do this with this uh, Rock B here? 
We are running it very close to the edge, as I said before. There can happen a lot to my ship. Oh boy, good luck this Eason BB. Thank you, Eason BB. Thank you. I think the way the strategy here will be, I will put uh, the extra energy here that we have because we are going to use the defense one drone for the first stage. Uh, we don't need to dodge under power surges in the first stage, right? So we can actually use our cloaking um, to parallel their cloaking because they are cloaking as well, right? So, yeah. Actually, I think the better idea is to, when they shoot, and they will shoot when they come out of their cloak, um, to then dodge under their volley. That would be the better use of my cloaking here. Juku Juku says weapons are nice, but too dependent on shield penetration, I guess. EK says Jordi will be will be a close call. If you get lucky, you might do it. I think. Blades of Attack says as long as you don't take any missiles directly, you'll be fine. Yeah, the missiles, the missiles. Because they also in, uh, ignite fires. And the third stage will be very hard because of intruders. That's this is a semi sure thing this one, Valdez. Is this advanced edition? Yes, Ethan BB. It's always advanced. Always advanced. You see this because there is mind control on here. And the enemy just used hacking and stuff like that. Adds advanced edition content. Alright, on to the first stage of the flagship. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. There is no turning back, it says. Okay, um, hacking is coming in. Let's get the defense one out immediately. I'm still not sure when to use my cloaking. You'll find out. Yeah, there's no attaching to piloting here. Okay, we got this as well. No! No! The most important hacking drone you don't get! Oh god, it's hacking weapons, guys. It's happening again. Yeah, that, this is the absolute, absolute worst. I will dodge under this. Okay, we will shoot once and then we will get the F out of here. Oh, they are cl they cloak? No, I'm out. I'm out. We will we will we'll get a second chance now. We get a second chance now. We have some iron damage on our shields, which is unfortunate. But hey, have hacking in the weapons is the absolute worst case scenario, and you cannot allow that to happen. We also have to wait for uh, uh, you know uh, cloaking. That's a little bit unfortunate. Oh God! Hacking in in, in piloting is as. <laughs> Almost as bad. Oh, they still hit oxygen. Fine. <laughs> Okay, the missile system is down. I like that. Oh man, it's happening, guys. Ah. Okay, my volley is ready. They are repairing their missile systems. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, they have fire and cloaking. Nice. That should give me a nice edge here, actually. Do I want? I think I want to. No, I don't. Okay, the volley is ready again. That's the beauty of this uh, of this weapons layout that it's so fast. It's really great. Ah, <laughs> breach and shields. I love the. Did I mention that I love the heavy line of weapons? Okay, th this is what I want to dodge under. Yes. Oh, they still hit us in, in... No, not in piloting because the doors are closed because of hacking. My goodness, that's a very unfortunate. Okay, take over th these dudes. Please just uh, fight instead of repair. And that's that for the first flagship stage. Whew, uh, with only three damage. That's excellent. Bam it goes. Bam it goes. G putting asks, boy, wait, what? Jordy's already in the last fight? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> G putting. Joshua is here. Hello, Joshua. Looks pretty solid run, says Joshua. Yeah, you were catching the end of the run. Indeed, indeed. Well, guys, we are in for a big surprise. Don't say it's easy because, um,. It isn't. Uh, the third stage is the real problem. The third stage is the real problem. Um, with the intruders coming, uh, trying to board us all around. It's something that I cannot see us winning, actually. We, we, sh uh, we must be become very lucky that they, I don't know, teleport into Mad Bay all the time or something. I don't know. I think uh, the way I'm going to handle it is I can try to uh, kill enemy crew in the third, uh, in the second stage. I don't know how much I can control that actually, and uh, prefer the third stage to take on as many crew as I can and then jump away to the base. I did kill two or three crew members, says Isaac. That's good. That's good. That looked solid at 6 to 42. Yeah, it did, actually. Cloaking is a big help. Cloaking is a big help. Uh, Isaac says, if you can kill more in the next part, uh, invasion isn't go isn't too bad. All right, all right. Get half the crew and jump back to the base to deal with them. Yes, just right. That, that should be the, the plan. <laughs> Watching Jordy dying to a flagship. Thanks, Jugo Jugo, for the kind words. Yeah, it's difficult to kill off a uh, crew without fire or boarding or anything like that, right? That's true. Why can't we jump? Oh, we don't have a pilot. Haha, <laughs> but we have uh, level 2 piloting. Does that, doesn't that mean something? Apparently not. Okay, <laughs> so 23 scraps. Can we do something with that? No. No. Alrighty, then uh, let's wait for the flagship to return. And let's take on um, level two, stage two of the flagship fight. Always wait to for the flagship to return to you when it is uh, when it is about uh, when stage two is coming up, so that when it is stage three, you can jump after them and jump back to the base. Blades of attack. Every time you hit a room with lasers and sometimes someone is in it. And they take damage. Yes, but it is very, very hard to kill crew with uh, like this because they have a four room med bay. And before you can kill, you know, you do like 30 damage or something if you hit them with a laser. And they have 100 health points. So before they get hit three or four times by a laser, they will visit med bay and get back to 100. Let's have a look. They are actually. Wow, I brought them down pretty much. Look at this. That's only four crew that can teleport over in the last stage. This guy will be gone. We learned that the last time. So they're down to four crew. 
If I can kill three crew member, we would actually be okay. The thing is though, we have a lot going on during that second stage. The second stage is very dangerous because... Not only because of the drone surge that is coming up, we have cloaking for that. But, there is one thing that happens, and that is they are sending over a boarding drone. And that thing is so annoying to deal with. Especially if you are weak on the on the crew side. <laughs> Blades of Attack says take the med bay out then. Okay, okay. Makes it longer though, until you can kill crew, right? Uh, yes, Jugu Jugu, I saw the review by Angry Joe of XCOM. Hello, Darknather! You, oh, yes, yes, you come at the right time. You are coming at the right time here. Second, st uh, second stage of the flagship. Let's start. So, defense drone is out. That's good because it shoots down the incoming boarding drone most of the time. No, it misses, and now we are... Uh, this goes into piloting. That's bad. Or it could go into sensors as well. But I think it goes into piloting. I cannot send anybody to help with this. Sorry, Jordi, you have to deal with this yourself. Uh, can we get the oxygen up so that this will not go below zero oxygen? That would be awesome. So my volley is about to be ready, so take over the pilots and... There you go! They have a breach in, uh, in the missile system. That's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. Why are my shields? Breaking down. Doesn't make sense. Okay, my volley is ready again. That's the beauty of this. Uh, yeah, we were going after crew, right? So the best idea would be to shoot... Piloting. Oh, that beam went through. That's unfortunate. Yay, look at this! We killed two crew! And we have to leave piloting now. That's unfortunate. The power surge is coming in. Um, good on us that we can uh, dodge under this. Although, this will only be... 75% instead of 100. What's chat saying? Uh, Uncle Lies, unfortunately, yeah, there is no door system, just like Jugo Jugo said, there is no way to open the door. Other than going through it. Only kill one more, says Idex. Don't activate the AI. I shall remember. Thank you, Idex. Yeah, it keeps them from firing. Exactly, Juan Valles, you're right. So the evasion, the uh, resulting evasion rate, evade rate. Is uh, inconsequential. Inconsequential. Yes, you're right. So where's the power surge? Waiting for that power surge, man. Okay, they are bringing down piloting slowly but surely. Okay, there's the power surge. Dodge under it. Prevent them from shooting. We have to wait with our volley until that is over. Okay, and they shot right after the power surge was over. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's shoot ourselves. We got hit in shields. And in sensors. 
That's unfortunate. Um. I cannot see where the enemy crew is, so I hope I won't kill anybody on accident. Accidentally. Oh, they, they ha I have a breach in here? How oh, yeah, because of that boarding drone. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I need Theo on shields. I need Theo on shields. And the cloaking is not uh, coming back uh, in time, unfortunately. So it seems. Okay, that's it for this fight. 21 scraps. Let's repair that breach and then heal up. Who else Theo needs? heal up so it, it might actually have happened that I killed someone in shields at, with my last volley and so that we then see enemy AI or something that would be very bad that would be very bad so you you are all, all at level one so Jordi you go and repair everything maybe you get enough repair experience to get to level one Ron Fred, hello, thank you for joining us. You say, ho everybody, I'm just a player of FTL and I switch to you live. I'm French, but I've got a good English for me. Ron Fred, thank you for joining us and uh, thank you for your interest in FTL. Uh, FTL is such a great game. It just deserves every, uh, every man and woman that is interested in it. For me, FTL, personally, FTL is game of the year every year. Although it came out 2012, FTL is the game of the year 2015, and it will be the game of the year 2016. It's just as simple as that. Yeah, the Jordi of the year 2015. Yes, Messiah. The goatee. <laughs> okay, Jordi, go and repair piloting and then we are set. Well, we are down to 14 health. That will be hard, guys. That will be hard. But piloting will be our savior. Piloting will be our savior. That we can dodge under the power surge means a lot. Um... I think we are going to have to bring out the combat 2 drone at the start of the of that fight uh, because uh, Zoltan shield yeah I think uh, to be honest the saving grace of this ship is that the uh, weapon that the uh, recharge rate of the of the whole volley here is very low that's uh, around 10 seconds when I can shoot all my all my weapons Fast, quick weapons is, is the key here. <laughs> Isaac's not biased at all, Jordi 2015. <laughs> yeah, there was, Darkness said there was one in the weapons room which was separated from the rest of the ship. That's true, but unfortunately that part of the ship uh, broke off after the, after the fight and that crew member is lost. Can you upgrade the reactor anymore? Yeah, I can get one more energy, but that doesn't help. I don't need it. Juan Valles. What I need is um, a value point in something. Oh, I cannot get a value point in drones. I could upgrade med bay, but since they are not intruding, I don't need a level two med bay. I could one more energy. I could get one more level in energy in engines. That's the thing. But I would have preferred to go into drones, but there's one scrap missing. Mm. 
Yeah, okay. We, we are buying engines. We are buying engines. Mind control? Um... Uh, no, actually, uh, we will we will prefer level one mind control now because stage three features um, mind control on the enemy ship. So what you are using your own mind control for is countering their mind control. So this is just like uh, cloaking. You want to time your mind control so that it is available when, once their mind control comes available again. Since their mind control is level one, you as well need level one to always have that rhythm of countering their mind controlling. My goodness, so many words. It's best to have level two, level one mind control. If I buy my level two, two mind control, it would only be a, a value point in it, which is a thing, which is a thing. But I could also go into engines, 5% more uh, evasion, and I think I'd prefer that. I have access, don't upgrade mind control, exactly. There you go. Yeah, engines is a good play too, I think, says Juan Valdez, okay. He would upgrade the reactor. We have the maximum amount of energy that we want. Um, well, if we do not go deeper into engines, that is. I cannot buy both though. For having the combat 2 up, yeah, we have... Um, um, if we depower defense 1, you see that we have 4 excess energy at the moment. If we power everything, we have 4 excess energy, so... We are free to use the combat too with uh, the current reactor size. We don't need to more energy. Uh, engines. I think engines is a good idea. You don't have the repair rate if uh, mind control gets hit or crew. I, I understand, um, Uncle Eli. So you would. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a thing. So I'm getting the value point in mind control for if it gets hit that I still have it available. A good thing all right let's jump after the flagship that's it guys it's happening stage three and we have seen um, in the last in the last attempt in the rock B that the stage three can kick our ass but this time we are prepared we have cloaking we have mind control nothing can happen all right so they took over one of our crew who is it who is it ah oh, eagle beekster why are you so weak wheeled Okay, let's take back Eagle Beakster immediately. There you go. And then we want to bring out the Combat 2 drone to start working on that Zoltan Shield. So we need that Zoltan Shield gone. Okay, my volley is ready. I will, you know, put it directly into that Zoltan Shield to work on this. And we cannot dodge under this, uh, under this missile um, barrage. We have to wait for that power surge, so what's it doing? It's hitting mind control, shields and sensors. Hmm. Okay. Good that we have a value point in mind control. Alright. Wait, we wait for this. There comes another mind control of Theo this time. We take him back. Okay. We need to shoot these two. Oh god, there is still a Zoltan shield there. Okay, the next volley. They hit us in Mad Bay. Okay, the Zoltan shield is finally gone. It's finally gone. Well, when is this power surge coming in? Come on. Aha, there it comes. So let's dodge. Nice. And I want to start shooting. Okay. And when they uh, next shoot their missiles, I want to switch to defense. Oh god, we got hit in drones. No! Alright. So the defense drone shoots one one of the three missiles down, or does it even shoot more? Nope. Okay, they they started a fire in Mad Bay, which is cool because there is no oxygen in there. Nice. 
Okay, they take over Theo again. Okay, take them back. Okay. So this will this will be close, guys. This will be a very close game here. Oh god, the power surge is coming in. Come on! Come on, cloaking! Can we wait for the missiles? No. Whoa. Damn it! Now these missiles will immediately shoot after we come out. That's not enough! They have still two, uh, two health points. If I had my combat 2 drone out! If only! If only I could have bought me the value point in drones, they would be dead by now. Okay, cross fingers that the defense 1 drone is doing work. Yay! That's it! Okay, they take over Eagle Beaks. So Eagle Beaks, why are you so weak, weak wheels? Oh, and I think they have fire somewhere because they lost one health points, just so. And that shall be the last volley of this uh, playthrough, guys! It is happening! Yay! There goes the flagship! By the hand of the Rock B, guys! Thanks to the valiant effort of the Brick Boat 2 and her successful crew, Jordi, Metal, Eagle and Theo. The Rebel flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory! GG! Guys, seriously, I forgot to unmute my mic. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Ah, <laughs> the guy thinks so much. I have four beating the flagship in the Rock B. I awarding myself the FTL Trophy of Awesome. I don't know if you can see that here. It, what it says here on the plank, it says FTL, and then there's a little a Federation cruiser with a swash under it. Yeah, so I will treasure this dearly, guys. Uh, I want to thank you for watching and uh, living through 
the Adventures of the Rock Bee here live on the channel. I want to thank the developers of FTL to de um, for developing such a great game, the best game I've ever played, hands down. Uh, Jugo Jugo said it in chat. Uh, I, I want to thank my parents for procreating and um, I want to, of course, also thank Twitch for uh, giving us the opportunity or giving me the opportunity to do this here for you guys. Yeah, I will treasure this dearly. I will put it up on, on my shelves or, you know, where blenders usually go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, we'll wrap it up in uh, just a minute. Enjoy the credits for another 30 seconds. <laughs> 